Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Today I'm making this altered mason jar centerpiece for my coffee table and I was inspired by a picture that I saw on Etsy. I'm using this little wooden crate that I got from Walmart and this white spray paint and I took it outside and gave it a couple coats and I also purchased these two mason jars from Walmart and along with these paints. One is a red one is a chalk paint and one is an extreme glitter silver paint. I'm just removing the lids and using this alcohol pad to clean off any oils or any fingerprints from the jar. And I do that with both the jars. I decided to try out this chalk paint. I've never used a chalk paint before and this one's an ivory one and I thought that maybe it would help me get a better coat of the red and the silver. In the end, I'm not sure that it would does actually give a better coat. Um, I liked how it looked under the silver. You could slightly see it, and I liked how it looked under that. But if you were going to make this, I would suggest either just doing another coat of whatever color that you're doing, like the red, or using a gesso first. But I thought I would just give this a try, and it didn't really make a difference for me in the end. So I went around and gave it one good coat and I'm going to let it dry in between and I did this for both of them. Again, just trying to give myself a good base coat so when I put the color on, I was hoping I would need you know, less coats of the color that I'm using. So I'm using my heat tool to help me dry the mason jars so I could go on to the next coat. And this is the red that I'm using. It's a crimson red and it's very pretty. So I'm just lightly going around trying to give it a good coat. I'm going around, as you can see, the lid first. I'm not going to worry about what the inside of the jar looks like at all, even around the inside lid, because I know that that'll be covered up. So I'm just sticking my hand in the jar to help me be able to maneuver it and work around and paint it. This project ended up taking me about three, about four days to do because after I did all my coats of paint I wanted to let them sit overnight and then spray them with a clear acrylic sealer so this is not a project you can do in one sitting you have to have a little patience with it so here's the silver glitter that I'm using and I believe this is by folk art it's the extreme glitter and it went on really light a lot lighter than I wanted to so you'll see here after, I believe after this coat, I use another silver that I had in my stash to give it a little bit deeper coat because I really wanted it to stand out as silver. It looked pretty as it was with a little silver over the ivory, but I was going for silver. I wanted it to look silver. So now I'm doing a second coat. I believe I did three coats in total. You just want to do as many coats as you need that you don't see that it's a good solid coverage or just the look that you're going for. So here's where I show you that I'm mixing a little bit deeper silver along with the extreme glitter paint and I was much happier with this. Now this is a little piece that I got from my local dollar store and I did not like the decoration on the other side so I purposely bought them knowing that I could add my own vinyl to the back side of them. And here I'm showing you the front side. It's pretty, It's there's nothing ugly about it, but it's just not what I was looking for. So I just added some vinyl. I cut this out from a silhouette cut that I had, adhered it with my transfer tape, and pressed that down. And I was much happier. This is exactly what I was hoping for. This little flourish piece, I wanted to add that to it. So you'll see me add it on the bottom here. I looked if I could fit it on the top, but I knew I wanted to add a bow to the top. So I went ahead and added it very lightly to the bottom to see if I would like it. It looks like I really pressed hard, but I didn't. And as you can see, it's way too clustered and crowded. So I decided to use the leaves instead and make my own little design in the corners. So even though I didn't set out to use it in this fashion, I went ahead and like I said, made it into little flowers in three of the corners, and I was much happier with this design.
I had my chalk markers out just in case I decided I wanted to use chalk markers, but I decided I wanted to go with the vinyl instead. So I'm really pressing those down. And now I pulled out my Nouveau Crystal Drops and I'm adding some berries around the flowers. Some of them ran into each other, so I just used a Q-tip to wipe it off and start over. And it worked out really well. So here's some bows that I made from the Silhouette Cameo. I'll try and put a link in the description box for these. I'm using some Simple Stories Claws and Company paper collection for it. And I'm just adhering those with some Fabri-Tac. I'm letting those dry. And I did three different sizes because I wasn't sure which size I needed for them. So I just decided to go with that little striped one. And again, just using some Fabri-Tac, I'm adhering that down. I'm letting that dry in the meantime. And now I'm using some E6000 to the front of my crate to adhere that down. Once I was happy with that, I set something heavy on it and let it sit for a few hours. And now I took out, took the mason jars and sprayed them with some Mod Podge Clear spray. Now I'm using some twine that I had in my stash along with the Fabri-Tac and wrapping that around several times. And then I'm going to add bows to the front. I'm just tying the bows separate and then adding them on top. Like I said, you really do have to have a lot of patience with this project because you really want to let the jars sit overnight once you've painted them. And then after you spray them with the clear acrylic spray, you really want to let them sit overnight again as well. So now I'm just kind of pulling out all my sprays and berries. These are a combination of sprays that I've gotten from the dollar store or from Walmart. and I'm putting a little bit of tissue paper in the bottom just so they don't have to be as long and they stand up well. So that's all there was to it. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I hope you've enjoyed the process and stay tuned for some photos. Please give me a thumbs up and check the description box for all my social media links. Come find me on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest. Thanks so much for watching.